Tablet 12, The Law of Cause and Effect and the Key of Prophecy Thoth the Atlantean reminds us that he has conquered the law of space-time, providing encouragement that we too will merge and become one with the all. The future declared to be known, an open book for the literate, as he calls it. Ironically, the future is stated as changeable, not fixed, but knowable. This would be true if the law of time were halted and all events go to their default state, stacked in the space in a clump with no separation or distinction. Cause and effect, arising from the first cause, are reversed to demonstrate the result of this timeless condition where one leads back to the other, the all. Recall the first cause detailed in Tablet 10 is initiated when the infinite brain, sending a sound vibration into the great void, created the laws of time as a thought manifestation. Physics terms this event the Big Bang Theory. Cause and effect are related to fate and destiny. Take the right fated steps, cause, and one's destiny, effect, may come into view. Luckily we are encouraged by thought that although our life path is cloaked in shadows, light shall be all, and darkness shall fall. Reading this tablet is like a breath of fresh air. Stumbling outside, escaping the body odor and sweat pouring them from a 100 degree Fahrenheit Bikram Yoga Studio after an hour and a half session. What a relief knowing that the New World Order criminals will fail. It has been preordained by the creator of all, the infinite brain. We are warned that most will forget the knowledge of the gods and that in the future we will be gods to others given our knowledge shared by Thoth. The Dark Brothers initiate a terrible great war between the light and the night, altering Earth's course, causing earthquakes and trembling. This is predicted to occur when man has learned to conquer global transportation via sea and air, and has scientifically progressed to harness the power of lightning. The prerequisites have been met here on Earth, and the war is on the verge of expanding to a worldwide scale. My prediction is, though Dark Brothers are focused on Ukraine's destruction to draw in Russia, a hook in the jaw long prophesied by Enlil in the biblical account in Revelations, the Gog and Magog War. Cause, invade a sovereign nation installing a puppet government which distracts the populace while their resources are stolen. This is a repeating pattern worldwide. Effect, trigger national populace's instinctive territorial imperative to protect one's homeland, leading to war. Conflict spills over the borders to allies sworn to defend each other, increasing the carnage. A Drark Brother Special Forces operation, right from the CIA handbook. Weapons of force shall wipe out half of the Earth's humans. At this point, we are told that Thoth and the Sons of the Morning intervene in the war. Exposure to the gods halts striving against thy brother leading to Atlantis rising in an age Aquarius of light. We are told that we will receive a new home, a place in the stars, a different dimension. Thoth heads back to the halls of Amente to await the coming of future age of light with words of encouragement, providing us with three names to call him by, three times in a row when in need. Call thou on me when thou dost need me. Use my name three times in a row. Shaketet. Aralek, Volmalites, list ye, O man, to the words of my wisdom, list to the voice of Thoth the Atlantean. Conquered have I the law of space-time, knowledge have I gained of the future of time. Know I that man in his movement, though, space-time shall ever be one with the all. Know ye, O man, that all of the future is an open book to him who can read. All effects shall bring forth its causes, as effects grew from the first cause. Know ye the future is not fixed, or stable, but varies as cause brings forth an effect. Look in the cause thou shalt bring into being, and surely thou shalt see that all is effect. So, O man, be sure the effects that ye bring forth are ever causes of more perfect effects. Know ye the future is never in fixation, but follow man's free will as it moves through the movements of time-space toward the goal where a new time begins. Man can only read the future through the causes that bring the effects. Seek ye within the causation, and surely you shall find the effects. List ye, O man, while I speak of the future, speak of the effect that follows the cause. 
Know ye that man is in his journey lightward, is ever seeking escape from the night that surrounds him. Like the shadows that surround the stars in the sky, and like the stars in the sky of space, he too shall shine from the shadows of night. Ever his destiny shall lead him onward, until he is one with the light. I, though his way lies midst the shadows, ever before him glows the great light. Dark though the way be, yet shall he conquer the shadows that flow around him like night. Far in the future I see man as light-born, free from the darkness that fetters the soul, living in light without the bounds of the darkness, to cover the light that is light of their soul. Know ye, O man, before ye attain this, that many the dark shadows shall fall at your light, striving to quench with the shadows of darkness the light of the soul that strives to be free. Great is the struggle between light and darkness, age old and yet ever new. Yet know in a time far in the future, light shall be all, and darkness shall fall. List ye, O man, to my words of wisdom. Prepare, and ye shall not bind your light. Man has risen, and man has fallen, as ever knew. Waves of consciousness flow from the great abyss below us toward the sun of their goal. Ye, my children, have risen from a state that was little above the beast. Until now, of all men, ye are greatest. Yet before thee were others greater than thee. Yet tell I thee, as before thee, others have fallen, so also shall ye come to an end. And upon the land where ye dwell now, barbarians shall dwell, and in turn rise to light. Forgotten shall be the ancient wisdom, yet ever shall live through the hidden from men. I in the land thou callest Kim, races shall rise and races shall fall. Forgotten shall be the children of men, yet thou shalt have moved to a star space, beyond this leaving behind this place where thou hast dwelt. The soul of man moves ever onward, bound not by any one star, but ever moving to the great goal before him, where he is dissolved in the light of the all. Know ye that ye shall ever go onward, moved by the law of cause and effect, until the end both become one. I, man, after ye have gone, others shall move in the places ye lived. Knowledge and wisdom shall all be forgotten, and only a memory of God shall survive. As I to thee am a god by my knowledge, so ye too shall be gods of the future. Because of your knowledge far above theirs, ye know ye that all through the ages man shall have access to law when he will. Ages to come shall see revival of wisdom to those who shall inherit thy place on this star. They shall in turn come into wisdom and learn to banish the darkness by light. Yet greatly must they strive through the ages to bring unto themselves the freedom of light. Then shall there come unto man the great warfare that shall make the earth tremble and shake in its course. Aye, then shall the dark brothers open the warfare between light and the night. When man again shall conquer the ocean and fly in the air on wings like the birds, when he has learned to harness the lightning, then shall the time of warfare begin. Great shall the battle be twixt the forces, great the warfare of darkness and light. Nation shall rise against nation, using the dark forces to shatter the earth. Weapons of force shall wipe out the earth man until half of the races of men shall be gone. Then shall come forth the sons of the morning, and give their edict to the children of men, saying, O men, cease from thy striving against thy brother. Only thus can ye come into the light. Cease from thy unbelief, O my brother, and follow the path, and ye know ye are right. Then shall men cease from their striving, brother against brother, and father against son. Then shall the ancient home of my people, rise from its place beneath the dark ocean waves. Then shall the age of light be unfolded, with all men seeking the light of the goal. Then shall the brothers of light rule the people, banished shall be the darkness of night. I, the children of men, shall progress, onward and upward to the great goal. Children of light shall they become, flame of the flame shall their souls ever be, knowledge and wisdom shall be man's. In the great age, for he shall approach the eternal flame, the source of all wisdom, the place of beginning, that is yet one with the end of all things. 
I in a time that is yet unborn, and all shall be one, and one shall be all. Man, a perfect flame of this cosmos, shall move forward to a place in the stars. I shall move even from out of this space-time into another beyond the stars. Long have ye listened to me, O my children, long have ye listened to the wisdom of Thoth. Now I depart from ye into darkness, now I go to the halls of Amenti. There to dwell in the future when light shall come again to man. Yet know ye my spirit shall ever be with thee, guiding thy feet in the pathway of light. Guard ye the secrets I leave with thee, and surely my spirit will guard thee through life. Keep thine eyes ever on the pathway to wisdom, keep the light as thy goal evermore. Fetter not thy soul in bondage of darkness, free let it wing in its flight to the stars. Now I depart thee to dwell in Amenti, be thou my children in this life and the next. The time will come when ye too shall be deathless, living from age to age, a light among men. Guard ye the entrance to the halls of Amente, guard ye the secrets I have hidden among ye. Let not the wisdom be cast through barbarians, secret shall thou keep it for those who seek light. Now depart I, receive thou my blessing, take thou my way, and follow the light. Blend thou my soul in the great essence, one with the great light let thy consciousness be. Call thou on me when thou dost need me. Use my name three times in a row. Sheketet, Aralik, Volmalites.